You better charge me for my order. I was commenting on one of my threads on how most people are happy when the drive through customer in front of them has paid for their meal. This isn't that story. A customer, let's call her Kate, was just informed by me that the customer before her, who happened to be a police officer, paid for her meal. This happens about as much as you think. She was livid about this, and demanded we ring her up. I told her that's impossible because it's no longer in the system because it's paid for. She persists. You better charge me for my order. Mild malicious compliance ensues. We have to enter her order again, item by item. Two apple pecan salads blue cheese on the side large chili add cheese and onions coker zero zero ice, this confused us because that's how she said it, no ice, and also coke zero? Or just regular coke with zero ice, because many a time no ice interprets to a little bit of ice, much to the customer's chagrin. Baconator fries. We have now rung her up, that the kitchen is now making, that we'll get to eat or pass on. Boom. So malicious. But her food was delicious. It was starting to die down so we don't cancel her order with the kitchen and eat 21.36 worth of Baconator fries, chili and apple pecan salads. Trickle down economy. Huzzah. Edit, just for clarity, we had to render her stuff into the system, which means the kitchen gets and makes the order, always way too quick to get it cancelled. Love my kitchen brothers. A ditto what truly made this malicious was the fact that we do have people refuse their kindness, whether out of foolish pride or being recently divorced, who the hell knows, but when this happens I am usually transparent as fuck by explainagizing that once it's paid for it's no longer in the system, and there's nothing we can do about it. I knew we were approaching slowdown so I complied with ill will, knowing we'd get free food. Ed Trito the customer said coke zero zero ice and I poured a coke with zero ice. The only explanation I can think of is she was on an expense everything because fuck my boss kick. That's actually weird and funny. We had a family pay for our meal in a restaurant once, and it was sort of embarrassing. We had our special needs child with us, she obviously enjoyed her pancakes, but we wondered if we looked too shabby to pay. Anyhow, we left a $10 bill for the waitress since we didn't get an actual bill, but that seemed about a 30 plus percent tip. I hope she enjoyed it. Why is Coke Zero Zero Ice confusing? The fountain soda is already cold, not everyone wants ice cold. Which means the kitchen gets and makes the order, always way too quick to get it cancelled. I mean, back when I worked fast food I'd simply go tell the kitchen you have an order coming in that we don't need, don't start making it, skip it and move to the next one before I hit the button to finalize the order. Why did Coke Zero confuse you? Is it known by a different name where you are? I work with the disabled. Some of them are on medical programs that will be cancelled if they take any gifts. This kind of thing counts as a gift. So if they accept it they can lose their health care. Most of them are so scared to lose their health care. I can see them refusing to have their food paid for. Our delicious compliance would be a great place to post this. I'm not big on diet soda or soda in general but Coke Zero actually tastes normal compared to most. Sugar-free drinks. And that's my corporate shilling quota for the day. Pay it forward is a disease. So many places where that is common they basically guilt you into participating. If I order a $4 coffee, I do not want to pay for someone else who bought stuff for the whole office. But how does the person ahead pay for it when he, she doesn't know what the person is ordering? I never understood this. Upvote simply for the word explainogizing. But that's a separate tragedy. Grin. Lol explainogizing. I wanted to bring the comment by you, Jake Ray, to the top level. Because I've heard it too and I would like to know whether it's true. From what I've read, fast food workers and baristas hate pay it forward chains because it makes everything ridiculously. Confusing and complicated. 
Explainogizing. Lol I love this. Gotta use itedith. Spelling. This happens about as much as you think. Is this common? I've only ever heard of it on Reddit. Coke Zero Zero Ice shouldn't be as confusing as you think it is. So, that cop bought you guys all some food basically. Even better when you look at it this way. Ooh. About the third edit. Don't ever switch someone's Coke Zero with regular Coke. If someone's diabetic you could raise their blood sugar through the roof. Coke Zero. Zero Ice makes complete sense in my country. Australia. Coke Zero is a sugar-free caffeinated beverage. The person's request is therefore for one of these sugar-free beverages without any ice. The whopping once this happened to me I paid for someone behind me. It was Starbucks. I was there a lot and had a gold card that got me free drinks every X amount of stars. Needed to spend money to get my stars. It was probably selfish doing it for my stars but hey. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.